Hi, welcome back um, to the next module. Um, so here we're going to learn the entire area of your WordPress admin, how WordPress works, you know, um, how your dashboard works, the things you need to know, and all of the things you need to understand about your admin area. So where you're seeing now, you see, welcome to WordPress. You see, we've, we've assembled some links to get you started and all of that. That is called your dashboard your own dashboard right so all of the information that comes on your back end of your website is actually going to be seen here then you now have under the dashboard there's another subcategory called your updates right so your updates majorly deals with the things you need to do on your back end maybe there's an outdated plugin or the wordpress version is outdated you're going to see all of that here so currently you can see that with the theme we're using there is no update that you need to do then the next one is the post, right? The post majorly have three and um, four subcategories. So you have all posts, you have hard new, you have categories, and then you have tags, right? Under all posts, that's where you see all the articles that you post, right? Under add new, that's where you add a new article to your website. And under categories, that's where you create different categories where your articles will be will belong, right? And now what's the essence of a category? The uh, categories are very crucial for a blog site or for any kind of website that will have a blog, right? It makes it very, very simple or very easy for audience to access um, different kind of articles in terms of category, right? Or in terms of categories, right? So that's what you want to do. That's what you want to um, kind of understand whenever you want to um, um, do or work with WordPress, okay? So, and then you now have tags. Just, just, just the same way tags are on um, on your, what's it called? On your social media platforms. Say for, for instance, you have an Instagram account or an Instagram page, you know, a tag basically um, focuses on the things that you would want to achieve, right? You want, um, 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 like using a pound sign to create something. So, you know, maybe you have, a, you use a tag that is digital marketing, for instance. Whoever comes on your website and clicks that tag, that tag would, of course, show every post, you know, that is related to that particular post under that thread, right? So that's what you want to do. So it's important you maximize, you know, the use of tags, all post categories, hard name, and every other thing that you want to do. Then the next one is media. Media is where, like the name implies, is where you had all your multimedia content. So your videos, your PDF, your infographic, your picture, you know, this is where you add them. So your library is like your gallery. Whilst if you want to add a new uh, media content, you come to add new and then you do whatever you want to do. Then the next one is pages, right? So what's the difference between a page and a post? A post is temporary or a post is on demand, right? But a page lasts longer the more. So for instance, you know, a page is what you would create for about me. A page is what you create for home page. A page is what you create for who we are. You know, all of those content that relate to content that audience wants to see for long, you know, you use a page for those ones, right? But for your article, your article is very, very, it comes on demand, right? So you don't you don't substitute a page for an article, right? And then you don't do, and vice versa, right? So the idea is know the difference between what you want to do and know what you want to do per time. Of course, when we get to the practical, where we start building our websites, you're going to see all of these things you know, I'm going to teach you everything and then you would understand it better. So on that pages, you have all pages and then you have new. So all pages deals with all the pages that your website currently features. And then add new is when you want to create, when you want to create a new page under your website. Then you now have comments. Comments basically deals with all the comments on your website, the comments on your post and articles or articles. And then you have appearance. Appearance basically deals with everything that has to do with your front end right so how do you want your website to look like you know all of the aesthetics and all of the beauty you know that you want on your website you would see them on the appearance right so what's the kind of theme you want to use what's the kind of so customize is a feature that works on that your website where you want to customize everything that your website is on you know we're going to get into the practical and you're going to see how all of these features and all of these things work right so i'm going to teach you everything you need to know without delay right so the next one is widgets right so widget is majorly you want to add one functionality to your website you know maybe on the team you purchase there is no there is no calendar there right so you know maybe what you want to do is you want to add a calendar to your website right a widget would help you achieve that without any stress at all okay so that's what you want to do um, and that's what you want to 
um, kind of understand. So the next one is menu. The menu control all of the pages and you know how your pages appear on the front end. Then you now have your background and your team editor, which are basically things that you know I would advise you even go into. The team editor majorly focused on focuses on you know the codes and the line of codes in your website. So you now have the plugins, right? The plugins add one or more features to your website. So if you bought a, um, a, a, a um, if you have a website for instance and you want to add one or more features to the website and you don't know how to achieve that, the next thing you now need to do is um, is to is to achieve that based on you using your plugin. So your plugin can help you achieve that. Okay, so you can come here, install a new plugin, or add a new plugin or plugin editor. You know, so don't go here because you're new. So you're going to distort all of the things that you have created. So um, the next one now is the users, right? Who are the users that will be coming on your web, that will be managing your website, right? Do you want to add a new user? You know, do you want someone to have, manage your website for you? Or are there things that you want to learn and you just, you know, would need someone to assist you with? Right. So you have all users who have had new and then you have profile. Right. All users basically deal with all the users that are on your platform. Then add new basically focuses on, OK, you want to add more one or more users to your platform and you want to show them, you know, how to work on your website. And the next one is profile. So under profile, you know, that's where everyone under your under the person you have given an admin right can see their profile. So you now have tools, tools that help you import and export from one website to another. We're gonna try out all of these tools and I will show you how to make these things work without any further delay. Then you have the settings, you know, so um, settings that majorly handles all of the things that you want to set on your website. So we have the general, you know, which is just the general settings. You have certain that has to do with writing, certain that has to do with reading. Maybe you wanna restrict access to people who would comment on your website. Maybe you wanna approve comments before you go ahead. You're gonna you're gonna see that there. Certain that has to do with also discussion, media, panel links, and, you know, and privacy. So majorly, those are the things you would definitely see under your admin area, right? And if you come here, you're going to see that you can log out and then you can also see who is an admin here. So admin, admin, the admin here is a icon, and then the next one is edit profile or log out. So you choose what you want to do under your, you know, your WordPress dashboard. So here, maybe you want to add a new thing. So anything you want to add that is new, you just come here and do that. Maybe you, want to, you don't want to go through all of this, you know, one by the left side. So you just come here. So this is where you have all your comments. Now, so let's say you want to visit your website. This is where you come, right? Then you visit the website and then the website will open up for you. And basically that's just what you have to do. You know, so as you can see, this is our front end. And currently we have not started building our website at all. Right. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know, you know, and everything you need to do, you know, with your WordPress website without any further delay. OK, thank you and see you in the next model.